Good day guys, my name is Harold from Harold Smolding and Cam Specialist. We are official resellers for Solid Edge powered by Siemens, uh, Simco and all his products, uh, Aris Trinity CAD software and all their products. Um, today's video is going to be about Simco Edit. So if you go to the left here you'll find Simco software uh, information. This is all the modules there is in Simco. It's actually quite a, a big uh, software. Then you go to Simco Browser. And the one you can check, you can look at any of these, but it's only a two page here. If you want to see the whole PDF, you can go to this one here and just select this uh, pop out button then it uh, opens up the PDF of the whole uh, software uh, and it's quite nice to just go through it and see what this Simco is capable of doing machine simulation it does the CNC calc which we'll still get into DNC Max uh, MDC Max This is where you do your whole contro uh, control uh, um, section, uh, NC base, MDM, manage all manufacturing related documents. So you don't need uh, uh, files and big cupboards anymore. You can use this, uh, manage all your manufacturing related documents uh, with MDM. And then uh, the scheduler, which I think is the biggest uh, module in Simco. Uh, honestly, if I had my own uh, manufacturing shop uh, I would definitely not be able to do anything without Simco um, because it just gives me the overall uh, information on everything I need and I can schedule all my uh, jobs and keep track of where I am where I'm behind how I can uh, change it around do I need to uh, put some overtime in do I need to put extra days in uh, the scheduler is really really awesome uh, to work with and then there's some code teachware okay but we'll get into all of those things um, so let me switch over I just want to show you guys the drawing and we'll go to this screen okay so this is the drawing we're going to do today um, it's just the m50 by 2 uh, millimeter pitch thread and then it's got a 75 journal here diameter and then it's got a 90 uh, diameter journal here that's got basically works like a head a stopper which is 10 millimeters long the total length of this part is 100 and the diameter is 90. okay so my bullet size uh, i ordered material uh, which is going to be 100 by 130 millimeters long so i've got enough material to face it to grip it and to finish the whole part and to part it off as well on the end okay so i'm just going to take this you can see the raw material is written down here i'm going to take this drawing to my other screen so that i can see what i'm programming and then i need to go to simco edit okay so now we're going to start programming this part um, what I want to do is, is just on my editor, I want to make sure I'm on ISO turning and backplot, I'm on Fanuc turning. And then always uh, cap locks on and then we start off programming. So let's just open this with the percentage sign. And then I'm going to start off with the max spindle speed. G53200. And then I'm going to do a home position, so G28, U0, W0, and then I'm going to do a tool change, T0101, and then I want to just look at my tool setup here. So on my tool setup, uh, you can see there's all my tools. Uh, if I click on each of them, it gives you a nice preview. I've uh, created uh, all of these tools beforehand. Okay, so that all looks good. So tier one, then what we do is I'm gonna just put a 
description here external roughing tool with a radius 0 0.8 <coughs> the next step I want to start up the spindle so G96 speed 120 MO3 now I will need to start my uh, bullet size so G00 rapid mode I go to X now I always go two millimeters bigger than the actual bullet size which will be 102 and then we're gonna face off two millimeters on that face and M08 is our coolant now we're gonna open up the G72 cycle so G72 cycle mode and now it's asking for the depth of cut so it's W 0.5 and a retract value of 0.5 then the next step will be opening again G72 because the, this is the two liner uh, G72 cycle you do get a one liner this is a two liner now we need to start off with P10 I'm going to start off P10 and Q20 so the P10 Q20 is going to open the point to point cycle uh, when we create it I'll show you when we create it so I'm going to leave nothing on you meaning on X, I'm going to leave no stock, but on my W, I want to leave 0.1 stock, and then my feed 0.25. Now I need to open the cycle, the P10 becomes N10, and G00, cutter compensation G41, Z0, then G01, X minus 1.6, the reason is for the radius, I always go double the radius uh, to do the cutter conversation past the X then N20 now I need to go rapid again, G00 cancel the cutter compensation and I need to always go back to this starting position which is Z2 and there you will see is my cycle perfectly done so that's my G72 cycle. Let's do the G71. So I need to go and create its uh, bullet size. So that's going to be G00. Now I need to go to the exact 100. So X100. And I can go to Z1 safety distance because it's already machined to Z0.1. Then I need to go and switch on the coolant. And I'm going to start off G71. The depth of cut is going to be U 1.5 and my retract value is 0.5 then G71 Now I can't use P10 Q20 again I have to go and use another uh, further on so I'm going to go P30 Open the cycle Q40 Close the cycle I'm going to go U 0.25 I want to leave half a millimeter in diameter and on my W 0.1 I want to leave 0.1 on my facing on all my faces then my feet right here is going to slow down to 0.2 now I need to take this P30 and open it up my cycle and then eventually we're going to close it with the Q40 but the P10 gets opened by the N 30 and it's going to be closing with the N40 so here I'm going to go G00 cut the compensation now it's going to be opposite G42 and then my X value now that needs to be calculated you can't just put any calculation on there you'll see there's a way <coughs> to calculate your actual chamfer this is the way I do it, so this is the formula to calculate the depth of the thread I always make the chamfer the exact depth of my thread so this formula is what I always use, it's coming from the machinery handbook so I take my pitch which is 2 times 0 0.61343 and that is exactly 1.226 now I would write that down if I were you because you're going to use it again 
then I take this value and I times it by 2 and then I say minus my 50 minus 50 and it gives me a value of 47.546 so my x value to start off here on this position here it's going to be x 47.546 in the x 47.546 and this is exactly where it's going to be starting then I'm going to go g01 z0 now I don't need to put a feed because it's got a feed in years uh, in the cycle already my next step is going to do the chamfer so now I go to x50 on the drawing and I use Z minus that same 1.226 1.226 okay so when we cut the thread you'll see that this point here is the exact depth of the thread and uh, that's the way I always do it the chamfer has to be on the same line of the thread okay but you can use your own way of doing that the next step is going to be Z minus 30. Okay, let's open this. Then the angle is going to be X 75. Z minus 51.65. 51.65. You can see there's the angle. Then we need to go to Z minus 90. And then we're going to go to X. Now it's got a diameter of 90, but it's looking for a half a millimeter chamfer. So I need to go to X must be 89 because it's half a mil per side. So 90 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is X 89. And let's just zoom in here. Then I'm, I need to go to the, and do the chamfer now. So X 90. Z minus 90.5 and there's the chamfer now the 100 I'm gonna I've got a 3 millimeter parting tool so I'm gonna go 1 millimeter past the parting tool so I'm gonna go Z minus 104 then I'm gonna close off the cycle now so I'm gonna go in 40 getting it from Q40 becomes N40 okay then I'm gonna go G40 cancel the cutter compensation and I need to go back to this X100 and then you'll see there's my G72 there's my G71 cycle okay everything looks perfect I'm going to go to home position, G28, U0, W0, and I'm going to switch off the coolant as well. Then I'm going to go M05 and M01, and I'm going to leave a space open. So here's my home position. Um, you can see there's 600 by 300, like I said. You can set that home position by yourself, whatever you want to use on your machine. Now, the next tool is going to be the finishing tool. So I'm also going to use a G50 a max spindle speed, but I'm going to make it faster. So G50, because now everything is running through and most of the material is off. So G50 speed 3600. Then I'm going to do it home position. For safety sake, U0, W0. Now I need to do a tool change, T0202. And this is a external finishing tool, the R0.4. Close the bracket. Then the next step is going to be to start up the spindle G96 speed 160 I'm gonna go faster M03 now I need to 
I'm going to cut from the, the left to the right. Uh, most guys cut from the right to the left, but I promise you, if you cut from the left to the right, you're going to get a much better finish. So I'm going to do it from the left to the right. So I'm going to go G double O, and I'm going to go safety, because it was 100, so I'm going to go X 102, but I need to open, so here it's going to be G41, cut the compensation, so G00, G41, X102, and then the same line, Z minus, and we said we went to 104 on here, we went 104, so I'm going to do the same here, Z minus 104, then I'm going to start off uh, programming now in G01. So G01, X, I need to go to my finish diameter of 90. But now I need to add a feed because in this section there's no feed yet. Your machine might give you alarm. So I'm going to go feed 0.15. You can see how the tool has moved now to the finish position. Then I'm going to go to Z minus 90.5 because that depth there is 90 remember the chamfer so then I'm going to go x 89 z minus 90 says the chamfer just move this closer then I'm going to move over to my finish size of x75 so x75 okay i want to go to this position here which is z minus 51.65 51.65 okay and then we need to do the angle again that is x 50 we remember the point x50 z minus 30 Now, the next step is to go to that same Z minus 1.226. So I'm going to go Z minus 1.226. Now I'm sitting on that position. Now I want to do the chamfer. So I, I need to use the same value of that X 47.546. And in the same line, go to Z zero. And there's my chamfer exactly okay and you can see now we are on z0 here now we need to go to the minus 1.6 so x minus 1.6 now we need to move the tool away so i'm going to go g double o cancel the cutter compensation and i'm going to make it five millimeters i'm going to switch off the coolant here as well then I'm going to go G28, U0, W0, and in the same line, I could have gone in MO5, and the spindle has stopped as well, so there's my finishing, you can see how nice it looks. Okay, so everything looks perfect. Now I'm just going to do optional stop, go to the next line. Now the next step I want to do a threading, so I'm going to use the same G50, speed 3600. Now you don't have to put this G50 max spindle speed in all the time, for me it's just a habit. Um, so let's do a tool, uh, home position first, G28, U0, W0, now we go to 203. O3 offset and this is going to be uh, M50 by 2 millimeter pitch then I'm going to start up the spindle now I can't run in G96 I have to run on G97 so G97 speed I'm going to use 600 and M03 now my bullet size, it's also got a bullet size, uh, so my size is 50 but I always go only 2mm bigger, 
So I'm going to go from 50 to 52. So X, I'm going to say G00, X52, Z. Now, the starting position, what I do is I always go three times, three revolutions before it starts cutting. So that's going to be the pitch times three. So the Z value is going to be two times uh, three, which is uh, six. So Z6 and then coolant MO8. Now we're going to use a G76 cycle. Now I just want to go to this page here quickly. So this is the G76 cycle parameters. You've, it's also a two liner. So you've got a G76, then you've got a P block, which is your, uh, this first P here is your spring passes. The second P is your chamfer. The third P is the angle of the thread. Then you've got a Q value here, which is the minimum cut, the smallest cut you want to take. And then the R is the finish allowance. You're leaving material for your finish cut. Then line two, G76 is the G coat mode. Then you've got an X, which is this X here. We filled it in X 47.546. So X minor core diameter of thread. Then Z is the end point of the thread. We use Z minus 28. Then P is the depth of the thread per side. So that same calculation, 2 times 0.61343 is 1.226, but there's no point. So I'll show you how I'm going to put it in. Then your next value is Q, is the depth of the first cut. Uh, we're going to make it uh, 250, uh, which is uh, 0.25 uh, per side. And then uh, uh, angle of the thread, if there's an angle, you need to put the angle in. And then it's just the pitch of the thread, which is going to be uh, feet two. Okay, so let's go back to this one. Yeah, now G76. So we open up with the P. I want to take two passes, finish passes, no chamfer, and it's a 60 degree angle thread. Then I need to, on the next step, I need to go with my Q my minimum cut, let's just go back. Remember here, I want to use my minimum cut here. I'm going to move this to the side. So, the next step here is my minimum cut. We're going to go Q, 50, okay? And then we're going to go R, 0 0.05. Now, is something you have to consider is some of the machines use points some of them don't use points uh, that's something you'll have to figure out on your machine uh, so this could have been uh, Q 0.05 uh, if the machine wants the point but uh, for standard Fanuc uh, trading this is what it looks like so the next line is G76 and then we know what our X minor core diameter is that's that X 47.546 then the Z we're gonna go one revolution less than uh, so 30 minus one revolution which is 2 so 30 minus 2 is Z minus 28 okay so one revolution is uh, smaller uh, less than the one so Z minus 28 then we're gonna go to our depth of the thread now the p value works like this so i go p that same 1.226 but it's no point so p1226 so this is my per side uh, p value then the next is my depth of my first cut i'm going to make it q250 so it's 0.25 and then i'm going to put in the r going to put in the R and it's going to be 0 0.05 this one wants the point and then you can always put in 
the angle as well and just keep it zero so you get you get it into a habit of having the r value there now it's got no angle and then r I take this out i just want r zero then what i'm looking for is feet two millimeter okay and that's the cycle so you can see when we zoom in here this is the first cut and then it starts going smaller 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 and it takes two cuts on your last this po2 on your last r0.05 it's going to take that cut twice okay i always put it in just to get a better finish then the next step now we need to go to own position g28 u0 w0 and mo9 switch off the coolant then i'm going to go mo5 stop the spindle mo1 optional stop and make a space so now my tool is at home position the next step we want to do we want to do a cut off so i'm going to go g50 the same speed 3600 and for safety's sake, G28, U0, W0, always to home position before tool change. So T0404, and we're going to use a 3 millimeter parting tool. Okay, and then G96. I'm going to go slower on here, speed 80. M03. Then I'm gonna go to G00. Now I just want to shrink this. Go back to my drawing. Now G00 X. We know we clean up to 90, so I can go to X 92 and Z minus. But we already cut minus 104, so you have to compensate for the three millimeters. So we're going to go Z minus, the finish size is 100, but we need to go 103 on here. Z minus 103 point. So you can see where your tool is sitting. Here's the 104. And then we're going to go up to here, which is 103. Okay. So then I'm going to switch on the coolant as well. Then we're going to go G01. X from 90, we're going to go to 80 with the feed 0 0.05 okay you can see where it's sitting now then we're going to dwell there so i'm going to go g04 x 0 0.5 so it's going to dwell for half a second that will give enough for one revolution then we're going to go g00 again x 92 move it out then we're going to go z minus so now we need to calculate to put a half a millimeter chamfer there and the way we're going to do it is we need to go backwards so i'm going to go z minus 103 minus 0.5 so z minus 102.5 okay then we go g01 x90 now it's touching that journal as you can see here then we need to go to x 89 z minus 103 and then we go to x so i'm going to leave uh, um, four millimeter in diameter for this job not to drop down on the machine but to have a small piece of material left there so i can just bump it off so I'm going to go to X4, as you can see here, X4, okay, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go G04, dwell it again, X0.5, then I go G00, X92, then I go to can actually do a full home position so g28 
U0, W0. And switch off the coolant here. And then I'm going to go and stop the spindle, MO5. And M30 to stop the program. The program is finished now. And close off with the percentage. Okay, so there is basically can see there's the small chamfer we finished off with um, this is the complete program uh, this is how you will be programming manually uh, a part like this we are going to get into CNC calc where you can actually make this drawing and then use all of these two paths here the turning operations then you don't have to uh, calc write it uh, calculate it like this you can just work off uh, this, but we need to learn to do this first. Okay, so I just want to go back to backplot. And I just want to add here a stock. So I'm going to go to a cylinder. And then the properties is down here. So remember we had 2 millimeters in the front here. My outer diameter was 100. And then my length is 130. And there's my stock material. Okay, so I'm going to simulate it. And then I'm going to start machining. Let me just go all the way back. And I'm just going to control it with my hand here. You can see there's my G71 cycle. It can go a little bit faster. There is the finishing, so it's already done the tool change here. It's the finishing. Nice finish there, all the way down. There is the thread cutting. And there is my parting tool. I want to actually show you that. So you can see the parting tool, what I do is I first cut the clearance. And then I go back. Cut the clearance to the chamfer, then I cut all the way down to four millimeter diameter, then I move out completely on X first. Move out and there's my part finished. You can see how nicely it's showing the thread, the angle. And everything now, the operator comes, he takes this piece and he just bumps it off. Um, and that's your program. Uh, now guys, one thing I want to just uh, uh, make you aware of, it uh, doesn't matter what CAM software you're using, whether you're using MasterCAM, or you're using EdgeCAM, or you're using uh, BobCAM, or you're using uh, FeatureCAM, it doesn't matter. When they verify in their software, or they simulate it. Um, it's not a true simulation. It's not a true verify. Because they're verifying from their actual toolpath parameters. Um, this is how you do a true verification of your material. So what you do is you take your G code and you verify only from the G code, not from the toolpath parameters. Because if they post it from a CAD CAM software, and the posting is wrong they won't pick it up in the verify but they'll pick it up on here so this is why i prefer always checking my program with uh, simco to show me the true simulation now i'm 100 percent sure there's going to be no crashes the tool is not going to run into any of my uh, journals here um, the, the parting tool won't break through here but this is the only true verify that you can get is G7 is, is your Simco uh, verify and Simco simulation. Um, so for me, it's a must program that you have to have. Um, but that's the, the, the lecture that I just wanted to show you guys a threading and the two cycles and then the cutoff. Um, so if you've got any questions, please let us know. Let me just go back to this page here.
so this is all the products we'll still get into all of them um, I think the next one we'll be doing is the CNC calc and then please go and have a look at our website uh, everything you'll find in there what we do what we don't do we also do CAD CAM G code training you find the information on here um, I have been uh, doing uh, G-code programming for the last 23 years um, on turning and milling and I've been in the software industry uh, programming as well for 23 years um, so I've got a pretty good idea of how it works uh, and what is a good system and what's not a good system um, so before you buy anything please let me know then I'll tell you if you're buying the right thing or the wrong thing um, but that's it guys thank you for listening and thank you for looking at this video uh, please uh, get hold of us on our, my email address uh, or phone me I'll just go back to this so you can either find me on Harold CAD CAM reseller simco at outlook.com this is the simco email address I created for the support but you can also get me on your bear harold5 at gmail.com or you can phone me or whatsapp me on 072-740-5539 okay thank you very much bye bye